everyone and welcome back it's your girl marquita with marquita lv luxury on today very very fun video i will be discussing my top 10 favorite handbags in my collection before we get started make sure you view those past videos like share and subscribe tell a friend how much fun we have over here don't forget to visit your girl on instagram at marquita lv luxury now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Okay, so let's get started. I am honestly going to go in order from the biggest, okay, to try to get that one out of the way because I do not have them in any specific order. As you guys can tell in the title, um, it went from five to ten. These ten handbags, I would never let anyone borrow. That's how special they are to me. So let's start with the first one. Being the YSL I Care Maxi. I brag on this handbag every chance I get. You guys know how special this handbag is to me. Like I said, I didn't put these in any specific order, but I can say this is top three for me. I can't go without this handbag. <laughs> guys, love, love, love. I see a lot of people use this as a carry-on, which you can. I won't, okay? This was almost four, no, it was over $4,000, okay? That's what tax. I'd rather use my never full gym. Let's put that damage on that handbag, not on this. This is a stunner handbag. When you step out, this is a boss handbag. This is a, hey, can you see me handbag, okay? So yes, of course, this is most definitely in my top face. Why wouldn't it be? You can carry it, of course, over the shoulder, and this is cinched in. To me, this is the more sexy um, way to carry it. Or you can carry it forearm or as a tote. I prefer over the shoulder. And it does come with a large pochette. And I believe YSL dropped the ball on this, of course. I think for the price, they could have added a YSL logo here. You know, it could have been a cute little clutch as well. But this pochette is very large, guys. It's basically like a makeup bag. I use this pochette on other with other handbags as well. So this is a big bonus, but also uh, they dropped the ball on this. I feel they did, okay? <laughs> but I still love this handbag. Again, this is with it being cinched in. And let me show you the expanded way. I hardly carry it like this, but I see a lot of people on Instagram that do. And here it is. It's just the expanded version. So it's basically up to you. So if you have this beauty in your collection, let me know how, how you feel. You know, I love it. Very, very beautiful to me. Classy can be dressed up. Um, dress down, tennis shoes, jeans, but I love having her in my collection. So this is the first bag that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so let's move on to number two. This handbag slowly but surely just brought its way on up in my top faves. And it is the vintage YSL denim puffer in size medium. I told you guys in a recent video, it comes in a small and it also comes in a medium. I am so blessed and so happy to have the medium size. I think this size is just perfect for me. I love the suede handle. And as you guys can see, it goes with my outfit perfect. I love this vintage look, this denim. Very beautiful. Great job, YSL. I love this so much. And of course, it can be worn... Extend it over the shoulder. As a crossbody. I think the small version will probably be cuter as a crossbody with it being, you know, smaller. 
But again, it's totally up to you. But this is my favorite way. In the forearm or over the shoulder. And I do have her stuff. Let me take this out so you guys can see the inside. Black textile material inside. And it does have a side zipper that is pretty wide, pretty long, and deep. Can't say enough about this handbag. I love it. Magnetic closure. Very tough magnetic closure. And I still have the plastic as well. Here... So let me see it as a crossbody now without everything in it. Okay, that's better. Probably because I had it, you know, I had it stuffed, but this looks better. I just haven't tried it. So cute. <laughs> so much. Okay, guys, let's keep it moving. Next handbag. Okay, next handbag is my favorite Speedy. You know, the favorite size. This isn't my favorite, favorite Speedy because you hardly see me with any Speedies. You know, you hardly see me wear any Speedies. But if I do reach for a Speedy, this will be the one I will reach for because of the size. I prefer the Speedy 20 over the 25, but my huge collection of Speedies is the Speedy 25 Bandolier. This beauty, I am so happy that it came out. This is perfect for me. As you guys can see, of course, I changed out the strap. It does come with a beautiful guitar strap. Um, I'm not a big fan of it because, of course, you cannot adjust it. I just feel like it shouldn't have came with this handbag. <laughs> but, you know, LV do their own things. Thank God it was detachable. So, I just added a monogram strap that's detachable and of course adjustable love carrying this beauty as a tote can be dressed up as well but i love this for more of an urban look with my tennis shoes throw on some jeans a nice shirt and hey you are out the door so i am going to show you how it looks as a crossbody i love carrying it as a crossbody as well again change out the straps guys if you are not too fond of the guitar strap that's the good thing about this you can take the strap off i love it over the shoulder or the bougie way put the strap in your forearm and carry it as a tote I feel like this is the perfect handbag. It really is. The extended zipper for easy access of getting in and out. I am so glad they added this to the Speedy. Oh my God, the Speedy's needed it. Okay, double zipper. Inside, yes, I do have an organizer from Swag My Bag Collection. It does have that beautiful cherry red interior. Perfect to me, guys. If you have this beauty in your collection, please let me know below. Um, even if it's in the unprompt leather, okay? I just want to know how do you feel about the size, the Speedy 20. Okay, so let's move on to the next beauty. Yes, the Palm Springs Mini Backpack. I absolutely love and adore the Palm Springs Mini. You guys know I have it in the monogram in black and also the reverse monogram as well. I love dressing this beauty up. Very, very nice. Um, I wear her as a crossbody, of course. I do not use her, you know, as a backpack. You guys know this. I talk about this all the time. Basically, I just attach the straps here and I just wear her crossbody away. You also can wear it over the shoulder. You know what? We give details over here. I have a monogram strap right here in front of me. Why not just, just do it? Just like Nike, just do it, okay? <laughs> so here is the monogram strap. And basically I just use these two top D-rings here and attach. And do we love that it doesn't have any bachetta? The black leather, I mean, what? Come on, LV, come on. 
and here it is and let me adjust it to make it a little shorter this is a bit long okay okay so right here at the hip so here it is and you also can make it shorter if you want to have it more here okay it just depends on how far you want it to come up, but I like all of my cross bodies right here at my heel. I've never seen anyone wear it like this, but hey, this is an option over the shoulder. Or of course, as a tote. And I just added this bag charm here. It came off the Odeon MM. And gold chain straps, guys. I ordered these from Amazon. I love these so much. I will leave these in the description box as well. You need these. I just attach it to the zipper here and to the zipper here in the front uh, pocket area. I hardly use this pocket, guys, because I hate this little flap here. I'm so glad they made the, adjust the adjustments because it used to be a flap here at the top, okay? So, LV, they do listen. They're just stubborn, okay? So... Again, chain strap here, and and I have it stuffed in and out. You can add um a bag charm or key charm here as well. Be as creative as you want. But again, guys, the dust bags do not leave your bags in the dust bags. Stuff your bags, okay? Use the dust bag to stuff the bag, but do not leave your handbags in the dust bag. Just want to let you guys know, okay? Okay, so moving right along, guys, we are on number five. I'm super excited. The next handbag you guys have seen me rock. I love this handbag so much. It's just boss. That's all I can say. I call this Big Boss. This is Big Boss. I actually wore this in Dallas when I went to the Cruise 2023 show. Nobody had this handbag. No one had this handbag. I received so many compliments. The bag charm doesn't go with this bag. It's honestly a monogram. I think I have it on my Palm Springs Mini Reverse monogram. But it comes with a monogram bag tag. I just changed it because I thought this looked better to me. More elegant, more bossed up. I don't know. I just think it looks better. But here it is, guys. The beautiful city streamer. I love at the bottom, it has the gold hardware feet. I don't know what I did right here, but the gold hardware is supposed to, supposed to protect the bottom. So I don't know what happened, but can't blame them. Blame myself, okay? <laughs> but this is a beautiful, beautiful handbag. I have been having this now for four years. My husband purchased this for me when we went to uh, Los Angeles. And... I have been rocking it ever since. So bossed up. And of course, I carry it as a tote. Very lovely. And guys, this used to bother me so bad. But I was like, I've been having it for four years. So, hey, as long as it's at the bottom. <laughs> I love this. And it also comes, guys, with this zipper compartment. As you guys can see, I don't use it because this came with it. So I usually just have it closed, but that is another option. Okay, you can use here. It does come with two side pockets as well. And I have paper in here. Okay, this is from the show, our seating area at the show. But I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And you can also close it here. Let me show you. And this is a very structured bag, guys. Okay? Here it is if you want to close it. And this part opens as well. If you want to take this lock and unlock it, this part in the front opens as well as you guys can see i don't use it either but you can unlock it so has a lot of compartments okay on to the next i am so happy we are moving along the next of course 
I have been rocking with this baby now for like, what, two years? Three? I think this came out in 2020. Correct me if I'm wrong. But either way, you guys know how I feel about my beautiful Patsy. She's just so sassy. I love this handbag so much, guys. I love the large LV logo here. Just, just look at this. It's everything. Everything. Um, Of course, can be worn as a crossbody. This is honestly my favorite way to carry the Patsy. When I went to Vegas, this is all I saw in Vegas, honestly, is the Patsy handbag. So I don't know what's going on out there, but hey, we're friends. If you love the Patsy, we are friends. Love that it has black leather. They got it right. They didn't add Vachetta, even though Vachetta wouldn't go, but you know how LV do things, okay? My favorite part as well is the beautiful microfiber smooth maroon material that's inside. It's just perfect with this monogram. I love it, love it, love it. It has a back pocket. It has an inside zipper. And it has another front compartment right here that is perfect for your phone. iPhone 14 Pro. Right here in the front. And look how easy that went in. Very beautiful. If you still don't have a passy, I don't know what you're waiting on. I really don't. And of course, it has a back pocket as well. If you want to put your phone in the back pocket, you can. Let me show you how he looks over the shoulder. I showed you the crossbody way. This is over the shoulder. And over the shoulder, if you want to double up the strap. In your forearm or as a tote the beautiful passy guys love the black leather trimming such a perfect handbag to have in your collection guys let's move right along we are doing so so good okay <laughs> Okay, so the next handbag I'm going to speak on, this is honestly, um, I would say, in my top favorites as far as a crossbody go, okay? I carry this as a crossbody basically all the time. This next handbag is the beautiful Pochette Matisse. I actually brought both of them out, guys. Because I love just having both. And you know, I'm just bragging just a little bit. <laughs> but this is the monogram for Shed Matisse. And this is the reverse monogram for Shed Matisse. Um, I wear the monogram actually more. Why? I don't know. I just feel like it goes with any and everything. You know, all of my clothes. I just feel like this goes better. But I love having these in my collection. These are the perfect crossbody handbags. I honestly feel like it's the perfect handbags. And before you come for me, guys, I haven't had any issues with glazing. If you let this stop you from purchasing, guys, you should have at least tried because I haven't had any issues, okay? You have 30 days to return. So don't sleep on the handbag because of what you hear. I'm pretty sure LV fixed the issue. And if you get it and you feel like, hey, the bag is glazing, take it back. But you are missing out, okay? You are missing out. I love having these in my collection. Of course, guys, let's go into some detail. And as you guys can see, I still have the plastic on the hardware. I want to keep this as brand new as possible because it is disappearing, guys. It's going away. <laughs> so, to me, it reminds me so much of the Patsy handbag. Look at the back compartment. The beautiful brown microfiber material. I love this material so much. It has actually this back area, this back compartment here, and the front compartment here. Very roomy. You can't go wrong with having a Patsy in your collection. Guys, back zipper. I love the S-lock closure. 
can be carried also as a tote if you like a lot of you guys said it looked like a briefcase which is it's funny but you are missing out honey okay let me show you how it looks as a crossbody because this is my favorite way and my favorite handbag as a crossbody This is my favorite, guys. Oh, my God. I love it, love it, love it so much. Over the shoulder. And as a tote. You can dress this up. You can dress it down. Like I said, to me, it's a perfect everyday handbag. Um, I know a lot of you guys speak on the Vachetta. You can spray with Apple Guard if you like. I didn't. I just love wearing and enjoying my handbags. I usually wrap a bandeau. Depends on what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing solid colors, I'll wrap a bandeau just to add some color. And then I will carry it basically as a tote or as a crossbody this way. But just looking at this, guys, I just want to see how it looks as a crossbody. I love this, okay? Very, very much. Um... And let's not forget, the Pochette Matisse has the best. It came with the best strap. Name a handbag that came with a better strap than the Pochette Matisse. I'm going to wait. Name a handbag that came with a better strap than the Pochette Matisse. That's what I want you guys to tell me. This is everything. You are missing out. This is everything. You guys are missing out. Don't worry about the glazing issues. If you have an issue with the handbag, take it back. But do not sleep on the Pachet Matisse. 2023, it is going to be gone. Okay, guys, we are almost done. <laughs> Let's move on. I believe we have, what, two more left? I haven't even been counting. I'm just going to show you my favorite handbags, okay? <laughs> Let's go. This is the beautiful LV trunk clutch. It is now discontinued. Why? I don't know. But this used to be my favorite crossbody handbag until the Pochette Matisse arrived. But, guys, I still reach for this beauty a lot. As you guys can see... I didn't take care of the gold hardware. When I first purchased this, which was actually my second purchase, the Neverfull Damier E. Bean with the Rose Ballerine Pink was the first LV handbag that I had in my collection. That was the first purchase. This was my second, okay? And when I said this was over $3,000, I was like, okay, what are you doing? <laughs> but I couldn't leave without it. So I am so happy and so blessed to now have this in my collection since now, if you go and check the consignment shops, the pre-love market guys, they are, they're like $5,000, which is understandable because I purchased, I think it was like $3,300, um, but look at this beauty. And honestly, I wanted to purchase before the discontinuation because I just hate how this gold hardware looks, but hey, I was using my handbag all the time. So here it is, of course detachable, adjustable, over the shoulder, as a crossbody, you guys can see is on the perfect length, it is right here at my heel, S-lock closure, I love this so much, and I wouldn't change out the strap, I love the gold and leather strap that it comes with. Open it has a zipper, beautiful gold hardware, and here it is two compartments one in the back, one in the front, and it is divided with a monogram piece, which is very, very well thought out. And it does have a monogram side pocket card holder here. And yes, it did hold all of my daily essential needs. No, I would not put a mini pochette, but as far as my hand sanitizer, hand lotion, lip gloss, perfume, both of my phones, 
he did his job and it's still doing his job i didn't even notice this the monogram bottom and then the black leather here okay lv very beautiful and of course it's reverse monogram of course the marquita reverse monogram loop gm even though i say this is dolphin okay but hey lv they do whatever they want to do but guys you know how i feel i don't even have to go on and on about this handbag so many so many love so many hate this handbag but you guys are truly truly missing out no i do not worry about the canvas cracking at all I love this hobo look, guys. It's a handbag. Use your handbag, okay? It does come with two straps. I love the gold chain strap that it comes with. I love it over the shoulder. No, it does not roll for me. I love it. It stays in place. I love it just like this. You can carry it in the forearm or as a tote. I remember in July when I got this handbag, I did the first unboxing. I had to go back and watch, and I was just like, uh, the shape. The shape was like this when I took it out of the box. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know. Honestly, guys, when you fill it up, this is the beautiful shape. Please try it. So many people on YouTube, which is totally fine, are against this bag. And I just really, I don't see why. I don't see how. It is perfect. So this is the Marquita Reverse Monogram Loop GM. And yes, it is named after me. I knew LB would do it. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I love the double strap. And inside, I do have it stuffed. Let's not forget, guys, it does come with a small pochette as well. Look at me, guys. I've been looking for this charger. <laughs> it comes with a small pochette to where you can honestly guys run in the store and wear as a wristlet and i'm just being honest i hardly even use it guys okay i hardly even use this i love my mini pochette it's a that's ride or die my mini pochette but it does this uh the pochette does come with a side pocket for your cards. You can put your key fob in here. Like I said, hand lotion, perfume, whatever you like, right in here. Carry it right in the store if you don't want to carry the entire bag. But guys, the Loop GM is number nine. And again, this isn't in any specific order, okay? But here it is. I love for the zippers to meet in the middle. And look at that shape. Oh, I love it. Okay, guys. So now let's go to number 10. I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly what it is. Let me grab it. Yes, guys. This honestly, <laughs> I can't, I can't stop smiling. I love the monogram side trunk i've been having this beauty for what like what two weeks now and it still has me smiling like it's brand new i love it i love everything that it holds i love the detachable tote handle it does come with a longer detachable and adjustable strap that i don't use at all i just think this should be a a handbag that you carry as a tote i'm sorry you can carry it as a crossbody. I'm not trying to say you, you're not supposed to or you can't. I just prefer the tote way. To me, it's just more elegant, classy. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. I love the creativity and thought that was put into this handbag, guys. I love the S-lock closure here on the side. And yes, I still have the plastic on i'm trying to keep the gold hardware as scratch free as possible so the s-lock closure i love how you get this 
and you just open it. It's just smooth like butter. No issues at all. But you know, we love the microfiber material. I recently did an unboxing, guys. So I did a what fits in as well. So here it is. No side zipper. But hey, let's keep going. That's my favorite part, guys. Zipping it, closing. That's my favorite part. I love it. I love the details. And of course, it is treated with cheddar. Yes, I am still holding on to this plastic on this hardware as much as possible. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, I love it so much. Oh, I am so happy. So, guys, that wraps up my top 10. Yes, a lot of you guys are asking about the Gucci Atashi. I know you are. She's still here in my closet. But the YSL denim kind of came in. I'm going to bring her out so she can come out and play. So, she can come out and play. I still love this handbag. Yes, I do. But I love... I love, love, love my YSL denim puffer. I can only speak on what I carry the most. I still love having this in my collection. So if you guys will allow me to have my top 11, the Gucci Atashi is in there. Okay, so can I do top 11? If I can, she's in there. <laughs> but if I'm doing top 10, I love my denim YSL vintage puffer more because I carry her more as well. So guys, here it is. I went over my top 10, top 11, if you will allow me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave, if you have any handbags that I have, if we share any of the same handbags, leave them in the comments. I would love to discuss to see how are you actually liking the handbag now versus when you first purchased. As always, stay safe and stay blessed until Friday. I will see you for a handbag bestie. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.